Hi guys, it's Daniel Turner here from PLRPro.com. Um, I just wanted to put together this video because this is a really funky uh, new way to do keyword research that I haven't really seen anyone talking about yet, which is really, really surprising. Um, so I wanted to go through a real quick video on how to use it to, uh, I mean, I guess the, the way we've been using it. It's only been out for about 10 days. Um, you know, it's pretty funky in, in your ability to be able to drill down into the various categories and silos and additional long tail keywords you can find and also going into uh, the products and, and various reviews and whatnot. So I'm going to type in dog training. Again, I always use this keyword. There's a little button here called show options. I'm going to click on that. Now on the left hand side here you'll notice all these things start popping up on the left hand side. Videos or video forums, reviews. Reviews are really cool because when you get into specific product research, you can use, say for example, sit, stay, fetch. I can type in sit, stay, fetch here. Click on reviews. And what's going to happen is it's going to be showing me a whole bunch of the various reviews that are in different places on sit, stay, fetch. All right, really good for, for uh, product research, really good for review research. But let's go back to dog training. Uh, and we're going to filter. This is where we want to play in the standard view. Now, obviously, the Google's introduced this uh, various time scale as far as search search results is concerned. So, if you're talking looking for like up to date information, the past 24 hours is always great. Um, though, even by Google's own admission, it is not a completely accurate. So, what I'm interested in this video is the Wonder Wheel. Now, if you haven't used the Wonder Wheel, this is really fun. So, I'm going to go into the Wonder Wheel. It's going to pull up this little thing here. Okay. Now, it's going to pull up related phrases or uh, categories drilled down from dog training. So dog training collars, dog training tricks, crate, uh, crate, crate training, dog leash training, obedience training, uh, dog, dog training schools, how to train your dog, the dog whisperer. Now, that is drilled down and also related. Now, if I click on dog training collars, for example, all right, what it's going to do is it's going to do it again. And I can click on it again and it's going to do it again. Now, you can keep going through this and, and continue to drill down, drill down, drill down, drill down, and that's a fantastic way to do it. But if I click on dog training collars and go back a level, I then come back to related searches, what happens is it pulls up a whole bunch of different information and things here. Now, what do we have on the left-hand side? We have product and brand name. So I'm going to go, what is Innotech? I then click on, right, and it'll pull up, again, the related information. Go to Wonder Wheel. What do I find? I find all the various product names and brand and, and um, information or keywords that are that are derivatives of this product brand. Right now, I can then drill down again into each of these and go deeper and deeper and deeper. Now, this is so easy to find new additional long tail keywords and phrases and categories for whatever. Uh, site or niche that you're researching for and I mean one really funky thing that I'd love it if Google did would be to have a, a little drop down value that showed you the searches related to uh, the search values related to this that would be really cool but unfortunately it doesn't have that yet so what you can do is if you have the SEO plugin for Firefox from seobook.com installed you can right click on this open it up in a new browser and then C traffic volumes, estimated CPC, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a, probably the fastest way you, that you can find details out about each individual keyword. Um, but this is really, really fast, efficient, quick uh, keyword, long tail keyword phrases and information research and category research that you can do probably in what would take you know 30 minutes or an hour. You can get done in five to 10 minutes because it's all that touch of a fingertip and it's easy to drill down into. So. I wanted to quickly show you this tool. It's really simple, really easy. I re highly recommend you get using it um, to start, I guess, analyzing and going deeper within your search results and what you're looking for. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, enjoy.